in the day, the only place where you could do exactly this, no sacking, was on PC with mods. And along with that, the only place where you could use icons like these, David Beckham, Zinedine Zidane, Thierry Henry, Pirlo, Van Nistelrooy and R9 Ronaldo. The only place you could use them was through mods on PC. All of that now is possible on console for you at home. And today I've decided to take on a challenge with each and every one of these players. And once I complete that challenge, I can move on to using and unlocking the next icon in the game. Starting off with the lowest rated one, which is an 88 rated David Beckham. Let's put him into Manchester United. With that man, David Beckham, what we have to do is to get an assist from across. Obviously, the man was known for his incredible passing play. So today, David, I'm going to need you to go ahead and pull off what you've been pulling off all throughout your career. And there is no better way to go ahead and achieve this by playing for United against Manchester City in the Community Shield finale. Good thing for David Beckham is the fact that we do have Marcus Turam up top who is actually quite a big boy. So hopefully this works out. Oh, first touch is horrible. Oh, this could be perfect. A corner kick with Harry Maguire in the center. This could be it. Harry, I see you. I'm going to select you, big boy. And I'm going to be aiming right towards your noggin. Here we go. Harry Maguire. Harry! Haaland, get off the line. Sends to them. Oh, what a cross! That's what he does, though. Beauty of a pass. Oh, dude, this is going to be insane. Inside foot curled with David Beckham from 50,000 yards out. He goes for it, mate. That was good. Bex taking it down to the wing. Looks for the cross. Fails the first time. Doesn't give up. Still going in for it. Looks for Garnacho. Header inside. I'm not too sure if that counts as an assist, lads. But the first cross was amazing. You're my only hope. Get in there. Get in there, Harry. No. <laughs> Bro, what? Well, in the end, at least, he has won a trophy already. But, lads, that doesn't help me at all. I'm still going to be chasing down this objective with Beckham. Glad he won a trophy, though. Good for you. Up next, we're trying a game against Fulham. Yes, we are. Beckham has had enough. And he just... <laughs> what the hell? Bex picks up the ball. Runs. Turam. Turam, I see you. Finish it. I hate him. I hate him. Bex. Ganacho. Yes. There we go. Beckham has something against that loss. It's a cross. It's an assist. Everyone losing their minds. An icon takes part in scoring lads with that we are now capable of moving on to the next one beckham great cross lads and an even better header from garnacho right there that's all i ever wanted that whoa that replay was nuts for a header <laughs> After Beckham, it's time for Ruud van Nistelrooy, 89 rated. And for me, he has always been an incredible player inside the box. So what we're going to do is he will have to score either a volley, a header, a bicycle kick, anything first touch inside the box. With Ruud van Nistelrooy, we're actually stepping up in the Dutch national team. He is back once again. As we step onto this pitch, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about David Beckham? Were you a fan of his career back then? And now also about Van Nistelrooy, both Manchester United players. I want to score this so bad. I want like a volley. I want a header. I want something special here. As we look for him straight away, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Run in there. Van Nistelrooy! Bicycle! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah, man, this guy, he's doing it. He's doing it. He is exactly what you want. A striker inside the box. First touch specialist. Only one touch is all it takes. Take a look at this beauty. The cross coming in from the right. And this is a replay worthy of going around in circles for. Van Nistelrooy, number nine, Dutch icon. We secured it. 
Up next on the list is Pirlo. And when it comes to Pirlo, we all know it's about passing play. So what I'm going to try and do is get an incredible through ball with him or an over-the-top pass. Pirlo, your legend, mate. With Pirlo, we are playing for AC Milan, of course. Rafa Leal, start making runs. For me personally, Pirlo has always been just pure class. You know, sometimes there are players, they might not be the strongest, they might not be the fastest, but it's about their footballing IQ, their style of play. Pirlo, Busquets, Xavi, those types of midfielders are the ones that always amazed me. I get it, the skillful ones are nice and everything, but the ones that can play those incredible passes, and those guys are sick. Pirlo, looking for Gyokeres. It's a goal, but I won't count that. That is not a proper through ball. There he is. He's on the ball. He's looking. He finds Gyokeres. What a turn. It's his second assist. But I'm still not happy. I won't take that. Pirlo making a run. All right, then. There's that darting pass. That's the through ball. Pirlo-esque, dude. If you don't take number one or two, you'll take number three. He got three assists in one game. I'm telling you, his passing is just quality. On to the next one. Next up, it is Thierry Henry. Pretty. Let's do this. You're going to be playing for Arsenal again, my man. The disrespect. Thierry Henry is only coming on as a substitute for Kai Havertz. Well, with him, my friends, it is obvious. We need to cut inside and curl it into the far post. Thierry. Here he goes. Cuts inside and curls it into the far post. <laughs> it's just the opposite way around. I guess I'll take it. It only took him a couple of minutes in game to pull this off. Honestly, Thierry Henry, simple as that. Literally first touch, instant goal. <laughs> That's what you want from an icon, isn't it? You know what? I'm going to keep trying until the last minute. If I get another one, you'll see it. Looking for Thierry on that left-hand side. He's going to cut in. Finesse. Oh, my God. Nearly pulled it off. There he is. Running again. Cut in. Finesse. Yes. <laughs> Dude, seriously. Thierry Henry is definitely the one that feels the best so far. I cannot wait to see how good R9 Ronaldo is. But now we are leveling up once again. Thierry Henry, one of the Premier League greats. Seriously. If you guys didn't have the ability or the age to actually be watching Thierry Henry when he was active, please go ahead and watch his highlights on YouTube or whatever. The guy is ridiculous. After Thierry Henry, 91 rated. Next up, it's, of course, Zidane. Let's do this. And with Zidane, I will be going for the silky smooth approach. Anything can happen. It just has to look elegant let's say like a flare pass or a flare shot anything like that and it impacts the game i'm all for it seemingly the disrespect continues zidane coming on for modric as a substitute only half an hour left zidane there he is oh, of course of course of course it had to be zidane to jude bellingham instantly he ruins them hug him bro how do you do these Celebrations together. I, I have no idea. He already has an impact. I'm continuing. A lot of people seem to actually believe that Jude Bellingham is going to be basically the next Zidane and even surpassing his numbers in terms of goals. He probably will. But how do you guys feel about that? Because for me, Zidane, again, just like Pirlo, it wasn't just about goals and assists. It was about like his elegance, man. The way he just glides through the pitch and gets tackled. And the keeper comes out. Okay. Zidane pass into Kilian. Kilian back into Zidane. He chests it once. Hits it on the volley. Pass and move, Zizou. Pass and move, Zizou. Sending Mbappe. Waiting for the right moment. Finding the pass. And not getting the assist because Mbappe is trash and Zizou is great. Zinedine had an instant impact. The team wins 3-0. Real Madrid lift yet another trophy. That man... Has won many trophies, of course, throughout his career. And for me, still one of the silkiest football players out there. And now the moment has come. I can't believe it. 
It's R9 time. Nothing against Smith. Again, I have absolutely no clue who she is. I've never followed women's football. But for me, R9 Ronaldo, you, my friend, we're going to put you into a special team. As we already had Real Madrid, let's go across with him to Inter. Wait, is this Inter? Lombardia FC? <laughs> what the hell is this? With Ronaldo returning to Inter, where he has done incredible things, I want a hat-trick to finish off this video. If I don't get into this game, I'll try and get in the next one. With R9, you need to let me know what you've been thinking about him. Now, a lot of you guys will only know him from FIFA as an icon, as a player that is the most desired item on the game. And let me tell you this, it is fully justified that he is that player for the younger generation the one that everyone wants to have because back then man he was special and back when he played for brazil with that haircut he was iconic like when you're talking about players that truly changed the way football is being viewed and the amount of viewers that are glued to the screen just to see him touch the ball ronaldo is definitely the one that got people excited the most back in the day there he goes. Ronaldo. Oh, wow. He sends one to the sharps. He's going. The pace is ridiculous. Okay. This guy's a different breed. He's a different breed. When people get him an ultimate team early on, he's going to ruin people's lives. How? How does he do that? How does he get past people? Bro, this is nuts. Can I pass it to him? Yes, of course I can. Can I get past that man? Yes, of course I can. How does he get past him? It doesn't make sense. He's a cheat code. I need to see that again. The way he dribbled past that man, the skill move wasn't perfectly timed, but he just jumps right past him. Dizassi has no chance. Go on. Di Marco looking for Ronaldo. And he gets shoved off the ball, but a penalty is given. <laughs> That's fine with me. Look at how slow the penalty goes because he's goated. And of course, a goat does what? He chips the keeper. Ronaldo, R9 Ronaldo, El Fenomeno. One of the best to ever grace the pitch of football. This guy finishes our challenge today. Guys, I am so happy that these icons have been included into the game. I just wish we could actually use them at a low rating and play through their careers to get them to their ratings as a maximum, which would be a 94 for Ronaldo. Something like that would be great for next year from FC 26. But for now, this has been such a great experience. Let me know which icons you're looking forward to see in the game, because as far as I know, EA is going to be implementing more and more icon uh, icons into this game as we move forward. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe. Peace.